you're watching Rocktagon Elite Six. Fighting next, Jake Anderson versus Alex Brown. And we're heading into the 170 pound amateur elite division. Alex Cleveland Brown with a two and two record in the black trunks coming out of the red corner. Jake Anderson with a three and two record out of KO Factory in the white trunks coming out of the blue. Meeting each other in the middle. Ooh, right nice away, Alex kick. Brown tries to throw a kick and Anderson takes him right down to the mat. Right down, uh, both athletes we were commenting when they were walking are in well, well conditioned. They look, both of them look great. Now Brown's used to grinding them out. Three of his four fights have come to a decision. So two and two, uh, excuse me, two and one and two in those three fights that have been come to a decision. So he knows how to last an entire fight. He knows how to work it out on the ground. Yeah, those left hooks are sliding in there now. A right and a left. And once look again, you see the strength, strength of Brown. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, using his strength, though, he just gave up. Uh, he went from guard to side mount. He basically just and stood up off the mat oh with a 170-pound sandbag on yep. it. But Anderson into the mount now and using the left hand. We're down to 10 seconds. He's up uh, under the it's chin. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Uh, Brown has got a good job. Out. Brown just gave a thumbs up to the crowd, and he's going to make it. Let's go. And, and let's use, go on a big stage to do it as well. Yeah. He's just Great public, uh, you'll get public uh, acknowledgement. They do a great job with marketing, and they they protect their fighters. And uh, same thing, just what happened in the first round. He threw a kick, which was a very damaging kick. You could hear it. But uh, what he did was by throwing that kick, he gave up a takedown again. And now he's going to be fighting and working hard. And right into the mount goes Anderson. Yeah, and not only that, he's got a mount, but he's got an arm triangle that he's going for. What he really needs to do to get it locked in is to get off to the side of the fence, which he just did. Um, oh my lord. And now, is, uh, now Brown's is giving Brown up his strong. back there. Obviously, Brown is showing his his experience here tonight. Uh, you know, protecting one arm, and he's, he's weathered through another round. The problem is, is he's losing on the scorecards pretty bad because he's always been defending on the bottom. He's going to have to show up big in round number three as round number two comes to a close. Alex Cleveland Brown in the black trunks, two and two entering this fight. Jake Anderson in the white trunks, three and two. It's been all Anderson through two. Brown's going to have to do something as he has been getting beaten up. If Anderson gets inside, he's able to take him down no problem. We've seen it through the first two rounds. Brown looking for the leg kick. Yes. Trying to measure it up. Nice left jab there to keep him away. And there it is. Anderson right back on him and takes him right back down to the mat. I like how his coach is saying bring him right here. But look at that once again, the strength of Alec Brown on display as he stands up and a nice slam Beautiful. there by Jake Anderson. Jake is really uh, dominating this fight. And, and you know, a lot of people say stand him up right now, but you can't you can't take an, a dominant fighter right now like Anderson has a no, dominant and he's, position. And he's moving. He's and in he's the back. He's moving and fighting. Go, go. 10 seconds left. He's going to finish this thing strong. And by all accounts, unless a miracle happens, yeah. Jake Anderson is going to improve to 4 and 2 in his amateur career in impressive fashion. Very impressive. Jake Tishkov Anderson. This has been Major Combat Sports and Rocktagon Elite Six. Your favorite fight channel is now on Web Enabled TV.